All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are watching Tokyo Revengers episode 11. Um, I'm a day late on this episode, just like the other two episodes of anime I upload, watch and upload on Saturdays. Um, but we are here now. Um, obviously, I was just busy this weekend, but now we can watch it. Uh, I'm definitely looking forward to this. Tokyo Revengers has been insane, and every week is just amazing. Um, doesn't really have any kind of ETA as to when or how many episodes there will be this season. Obviously, because I'm not a manga reader, I couldn't also really kind of predict when it would end um, or how many episodes it would be. But uh, at the moment, it says question mark, and that's okay with me because that means we get more episodes this season. Um, but yeah, that is that. That's all I really have to say. And yeah, as always, guys, like the video if you like the video and subscribe to the channel if you are new. It only takes one second, guys, just to hit that subscribe button down below. And let's go into the episode right now. Good shit, boys. Let's go. Someone get Ken to our hospital, please. Hell yeah. Sense of urgency. We love to see it. Oh, we love a sense of urgency and Ken not dying right now. Please. Holy fuck. Well, it looks like Tokyo Manji won, so let's go. Bro, both of these motherfuckers are still up, bro. Holy shit. Ooh. Valhalla. Ooh, okay. Wow. They're creating a completely new gang? Or is it like a new division? Come on, bro. Do not die on us. I sure hope so. I sure you hope you don't die right now. No. No. No! Ken, no. Please, after surviving all of that. Why is Pear here, bro? Mikey is keeping his goddamn cool right now. Oh god, I sure hope so, Mikey. This is gonna break Mikey if he dies. Please. Oh, let's fucking go. The fucking sigh of relief that just came from me then. Boy, it is a hospital. Shut up. <laughs> oh. Draken's so good, man. This wouldn't happen in any other gang. This gang is different. Oh, shit. So it's August 4th. He's done it? So if he goes back now, he should change, right? Yeah, where the hell is Mikey? Where did he go after everybody was celebrating? Oh, he's so relieved, right? Oh. oh, I can't take badass characters like this crying, bro. Oh, my God. I cry over the littlest things in anime, I swear to God. Oh, my God, look at this dude. Look at this dude. Boy, you didn't... All right, you kind of did an inch of fighting. But not in the actual, like, big group battle, though. <laughs> yeah, you need to calm down, Takemichi. <laughs> I mean, he did get stabbed in the hand. That's pretty cool. Oh. He's got his own jacket. Let's go. So he gave... He really... Mikey really gave him his jacket, bro. True. He did really... He, he for real saved Toman. He can't even crouch down that far. He's got knifed in the gut. The jacket said uh, first commander on the sleeve, right? Is there a first commander of um, Toman currently? Like, is that Ken? Or is he the vice commander and there's a first commander slot open at the moment? So I don't think Takamichi's ready to be a first commander, but I like the idea. Um, so as you say, someday, you know, it's too heavy for him at the moment. Um... That'd be really cool. I'd really like to see that. You might need to do some explaining, Takemiji. <laughs> yeah, Ta Takemiji, you need to tone it down, bro. Alright, let's see what's gonna change now, I guess, if he actually gets to go back. <laughs> Is that a four-leaf clover? <laughs> we never know. You might be able to get to see her in the future. <laughs> now it's over from the past. It's so funny. It's not like Takemichi just disappears, though, when this happens. He's just future self leaves his brain and goes back, and his past self is still here. Okay, yes, hopefully. I'm really curious as to how this is going to change now, if it even is. 
Okay, so he's returned back and he's got his job. Okay, that's good. Okay, this is completely different. What's going on? Ooh, the knife marks there. Salam. Hey yo, hey yo, Akun. Let's go. Oh, this is clearly like a future where they've kept in touch as well. That's good. Oh, he actually is starting to work towards his dream as well. I mean, yeah, you could definitely use a haircut, bro. <laughs> okay, so Akun's alive and happy. This is a good start. Oh, it's Nato. How the hell does he know everything's changed, though? Whoa, okay. This is a very confusing, timey-wimey thing. All right, so that was Tokyo Revengers episode 11. If the idea of time travel in this show and how it all the mechanics and physics worked, it didn't already confuse me. Now it's confused me just a tad bit more. Um, with obviously now Mikey being back in the present and him not being in Naoto's room, but instead him being at work in the job he'd been fired from. Um, and then when he goes to call Naoto that is not in his phone, he then obviously goes to see Akon. Akon's alive and happy, which is good. I'm not... We're fine with that. Uh, but then Nato gives him a call from a number he doesn't recognise. Nato remembers everything he sent him in the past to do. Remembers that his sister was supposed to be dead. And then he is now like, let's go and see my sister. Very confusing. I hope this is kind of... I hope this is going to be cleared up. I assume. I assume it will be. Um, but yeah, very, very confusing. I think there's, there might be more to Nato than meets the eye. I don't know, but I'm very curious as to see what else has changed in the future. And I'm definitely looking forward to seeing that's how that's going to go. Um, but yes, I think that's all I really have to say. And that is that. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I certainly did. And I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice day and peace out.